Hello everybody. Um, yeah, boy, well, still not quite there, but uh, getting there. It is way too late. I'm not even turning on the big light here. So sorry for the kind of odd lighting. <sighs> I only watched Really Milan tonight. And I was about to say, I uh, just finished. Uh, I was just about to say, uh, there's not much I can talk about and yeah, it was this must-win game and I hate scheduling because, you know, you play already in the Europa League, you had the midweek game now as well to make up. You always have to play catch-up. Lazio won, uh, you just were ahead of Lazio. You have Juve coming up next uh, after a pretty tough Europa League game, so um, it kind of sucked. You need to get points in Udine and Udine made it really tough. Um, and let me say this, Udine is probably one of the my top five teams that I like in Serie A. You know, it's Milan, Milan, Milan. Then, you know, there's Roma, there's Napoli, there is um, Fiorentina. And I think Udine is right in there, in that mix as well. Um, so, yeah. And I like that Udine shirt. I want to have that one. <laughs> and... Playing in Udine, it's always the same thing. Uh, as long as I'm a Milan fan, a win in Udine is not something that comes by easy. And again, it didn't come by easy. And uh, I don't know what it is about Udine. Uh, that's, you know, you were wins in Udine, Milan never ever. What can I say? It was a fighting game, it was not a pretty game. Nothing great to watch there. Uh, we know that Lazio had won for one, so um, with that, it was a must win game for Milan if you want to stay in contention for fourth spot, which seems to be the ceiling the, uh, this year. Um, there was a big uh, Egoin went out with a back injury. Yeah, the injury list gets bigger, also not great. And I think the only other thing that was really remarkable was that um, Castillejo he come off or Iguain that I actually like a lot. He's this gangly player but has a lot of energy but he, he also always have a little bit of fear that uh, the emotions might get the better of him but overall I like him a lot and he put a nice uh, ball through. He went through three defenders, a big run. Uh, through to Suso, who had a clear shot on goal and completely botched that one. And Suso had had a big chance before that as well. Of course, uh, Udine also had their chances, so it was not uh, that it was a clear-cut game, but uh, the longer the game went, the more you could see that Milan is asserting themselves. But no, it was never to be. There was another goalkeeper uh, good on the line, at least uh, <laughs> we don't. I don't know whether the goalkeeper has that bad of uh, time controlling his uh, box as the Genoa keeper had, who was a sensation on the line. And yeah, a red card after Castillejo got through. That was in the 94th, five minutes at the added time. Milan pleading uh, Udine, really killing time with uh, substitutions in the best Italian meta possible, I have to say. Was going, 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 and then shortly thereafter, I mean, the free kick was horrible that went after the red card, and I thought, okay, that's it. But they somehow got the ball in the box. Uh, um, Udine player lost the ball to Romagnoli. Suddenly there are four Milan players and only two or three uh, Udine defenders. It looks like they're playing the ball left. They're playing the ball right. They cannot find the shot. Suddenly Romagnoli has the ball and nets it in. Into the goal. 96th minute. It's after the time. And then I see the flag of the referee, the linesman up. And I'm like, wow, no. Fortunately, I showed it was not offside goal, and yeah, it went 10 minutes over. I haven't seen anything like that. Emotional win uh, for me again after, I mean, Milan is killing me, but you know, nine points in eight days after the horrible week before. Ah, uh, that's good news. That's good news, and I hope Milan is going from there. I don't expect much from the Juve game, but you know, a few years ago, Milan also had kind of this... Suddenly they beat you at home. Maybe. I don't. I honestly don't see it. I think this is a game they just need to go. And then there's the big game against Lazio. That's the one that they have to concentrate on. So yeah, that's the situation in Serie A. Um, there weren't many big results. Um, 
the Premier League, Manchester City with uh, Southampton 6-1, uh, Chelsea 3-1 against Crystal Palace, so those are the 1 and 2, Liverpool dropped the points against Arsenal, so yeah, still unbeaten, but now Manchester City is for the first time two points ahead of the other two, but they have the Derby coming up next, so uh, it might change again. Um, and yeah, that the league in England is actually closer than uh, you might think. Um, Arsenal is still in Tottenham, sneaked up, they got a big win against uh, Wolves yesterday. So yeah, that looks instantly in Spain, the big win is Barcelona with a horrible <laughs> showing, honestly. I mean, that was a lucky win. But Sevilla today, that was the only other game that I was close to watching, but then I decided, you know, I was the whole uh, day out and about to be a bit with my wife, spent some time there, uh, Ricky Ricklick, and then I watched NFL. Uh, I'm a little bit feeling bad that I haven't watched so much NFL, because um, that was last year. But yeah, it's about a year that I have the zone. And then NFL became the big thing, and yeah, I would like to watch a little bit more NFL as well. But you know, when Milan is playing on Thursdays, I get to see Milan on Sunday, and that's yeah. Don't get much NFL to watch. So yeah, uh, I was Real Sociedad. Um, Sevilla was the other game that I was watching. It was a 0-0 draw, and that was where I was headed with Milan here too. So I'm glad I didn't watch that one, although I would have liked at least to see the Jersey Jersey matchup. Um, I haven't seen a thing of that game but yeah um, Barcelona has a clear four points uh, who is second now well, so it's probably in Sevilla and Atletico Madrid or something like that you know um, really Atletico Madrid is high at the table with making only one point Sevilla the same uh, it just doesn't seem quite right yeah that was the weekend. Uh, I think in the Bundesliga, uh, Mönchengladbach won 3-0, so they're up there. Uh, they're in second place, the two Borussias, then there's Bayern. Leipzig is back, uh, Bremen lost it, uh, lost again. They are uh, seemingly falling in flag for this fifth. So that looks also interesting. And yeah, uh, I think it was a great game in France between Saint-Étienne and Angers. It was a 4-3. That was, uh, I have to see highlights because that looked fun. Uh, lead changing a lot but yeah there you go that was the weekend of course there's the big news about the super league i probably have to say something about that uh once i make up my mind not so sure about how serious things are yet but you know we'll get there hope you enjoyed my top 10 of world cup winning jerseys i want to hear yours um let me know which games you watched um whether you are as lucky or happy about Milan as I am, honestly, I don't think, with the showing, I mean, yes, they have the luck now, I I think it will be a tough call for Milan to finish it fourth. But we hear Ibrahimovic might be coming. He was wearing this shirt the last time they were playing. I'm not sure if that's great news, but, you know, uh, he's at least a character. But you have Iguain. I think Iguain at the moment I would take over Ibrahimovic any, Ibrahimovic any time. But yeah, there are interesting developments for sure are going to happen. Looking forward to it. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.